Hello, I'm Ardario, and today I was wandering in this little dungeon, and um, I just uh, I just killed some skeletons over here, and now when I am really close to the treasure chest, yeah, uh, this is quite a big hole with lava, and normally I would make this jump easily, but right now I don't have any food bars left, so I can sprint, uh, which is quite bad. But fortunately, it isn't a normal dungeon, it is a taco dungeon. So if we look around, yeah, a taco. So uh, let's go ahead and eat it. Oh yeah, so it was a quite, quite a huge taco, so it restored all my food bars. And now we can sprint and get to the other side. Here, here it is, the treasure chest. So let's see what's inside. Treasure taco chest opened! Oh yeah! So let's see what we get. A tasty taco and a taco soup. That is awesome. Pardon me for that little introduction, but now let's see how this system works. So this is actually really really simple. Uh, basically that taco you seen uh, was actually a player head. There is a player who has a taco on his head. So we can place that head in the world and basically as all heads like school, let's say school, and they have got 16 different rotations. So those command blocks just replace the school uh, with the owner, with that taco guy, uh, with a um, rot next rotation. So as you can see it will be, this one is for chest, actually, and this will be um, rotation 0, and this is rotation 1, 2, 3, up to 16, and then when the redstone signal goes to the very end, uh, this command block sets a redstone block over here, and then it gets deleted by this command block, so it just it's just a clock. And now those, um, here we've got another clock, it basically tests if the player is in that location where the taco is. And then, uh, when it finds a, finds a player in that area, it will uh, also play some uh, eating sounds, uh, it will destroy that taco, and also uh, fill an area from here to here uh, with redstone blocks and those will get powered and destroy all the repeaters uh, destroying the whole um, the whole clock immediately and also those just delayed, delete the redstone blocks so uh, basically when oh basically when a player is near the taco um, it stops the clock and it destroys the taco and it says, says test tasty and gives saturation to the player so it imitates eating and then just uh, re um, restores all the repeaters now the chest is actually um, the same thing but with different uh, username and with different uh, play sound right it's right here and yeah, but uh, also it powers those dispensers that dispense taco soup and tasty tacos. And then uh, one of those command blocks yeah, teleports all the items to the lo location where the chest was. So it's much simpler than uh, making summon commands that summon custom items. Uh, so yeah, th just as simple as that. It would be a shame to not test this even further. So. Um, those are, this is just the taco, you can see that's tasty. Here we go, you got the username, you can copy that to your word. And now I've created different types of food that are also edible, like this hamburger is edible. Um, those are not because it needs quite a lot of command blocks. Uh, but we have got a um, cookie, a um, little cake, an apple and a different apple. Those are um, experiments because here uh, there are a command block, repeater, command block. And basically those are rotating slower because the uh, repeaters are set to different ticks. So this was clicked once and this was twice and this was clicked three times. Now this one is actually quite cool because it uses um, this clock. 
uh, yeah, it's quite cool looking. Uh, basically, um, this command block uh, sets the redstone block over here, and this command block destroys the uh, redstone block below, so it just pushes the redstone block forwards and keeps destroying it, creating this quite cool looking clock. And it also makes the um, the player school rotate faster. Um, but I think that it is too fast and the um, good rotation speed is uh, this one. Uh, so here is a different thing. Let me go ahead and give me some hunger. So uh, when you want to eat those, you have to like run on them. And this is actually a clickable one. So bam, and you eat it. And but that's uh, this is using um, block forty six. And basically, when you right click block forty six, it uh, disappears. So I've got some uh, test for block commands over there that are just testing for um, blocks 46 and the, if they don't find one then they will turn this part on and basically that's the same with the tackle. Okay, uh, next we have got um, side sideways placed cake, a uh, coconut, uh, some pancakes, this is quite cool, a popcorn, uh, a different hamburger. Here we have got the, the chest. Uh, right now I'm gonna uh, show you how to create randomized items uh, to this chest because um, you can have up to nine randomized items. Uh, you can just fill this dispenser that you saw right over there with different stuff like this is um, some things that you can find in a dungeon and if you uh, Mm, put them in this dispenser, it will uh, just teleport the item over there and it will. Um, this dispenser will also pick one of those, so it's randomized. And also in this chest you can have other loot, so it uh, replaces this, those. Uh, okay, now for the last thing, there is something really cool. Oh, let me... Okay, I don't know why, why that happened. Uh, basically, this is a um, first aid kit. Which is, which is also working. So we can see that it will restore four hearts. So if we go to survival and um, add us some damage, uh, right now I have four and now I have got eight and four hearts up appears. Uh, so it is really, really cool. Uh, like it rotates and stuff. And uh, you can, on an adventure map, it will be also nice because you can see the uh, tag on the, uh, behind the walls. So yeah, if you want to place um, nice, good-looking first aid kits, those are quite quite cool. Now, uh, though, um, it is basically uh, well, um, the same as the other ones. It it it, it just has different um, play sound and also, but uh, the special thing about this are those four hearts. Basically, uh, it is a name tag of an invisible horse riding a wither school. I know that it may sound weird, but I will put a um, video in the description to a um, um, yeah, video about how to create those. You can also download a filter, so that's really really cool. So yeah, I think that those rotating power-ups have got quite a wide, uh, wide uh, variety of things that you can do with them. And yeah, hope you liked it. Um, so, oh yeah, and for the last thing, I updated my skin. How do you like it? Okay, uh, so see you in my next video.